Now, in this session, we are going to study the relational algebra. Relational algebra allows me to do querying update data insert or delete data and create or update views okay relational algebra provides me operators which allow me to do all these things so we are going to study what these operators are we will start with unity unary operator okay unary means taking a single operand so first unary operator that we are going to study is the select operator okay select operator which is the sigma operator okay we use a sigma to denote a select operator select operator is used to select one or more set of rows from a table okay so now let's suppose we have a table of research students okay these are the students who are probably doing a doctoral research okay and in this table of research students i have their name i have their graduation university i have their graduation percentage okay and i have their age let's suppose i have their email okay so my table would look something like this and it would have certain rows so let's try to fill this up let's suppose we have joe he did his graduation from harvard he had say 75 percentage or whatever gp or whatever we'll will assume its percentage okay he is 23 and his email is joe at some university say my university dot com whatever then the next person is m he did his graduation from stanford he has say 80 percent his age is 27 and his email is tim at some some dot com next guy is cheney rather the next girl is cheney cheney comes from say texas university she had 63 as percentage in graduation her age is 26 and her email is jenny at something and finally we have rob he is from virginia tech okay his graduation percentage is 77 his age is 22 and his email is robert something okay now if suppose i want to find all people i'll write it like this i need all people 
who have graduation percentage greater than or equal to 75% and their age is less than or equal to 25 okay so how do i use a relational algebra expression to find this set of information what i will do is i will write name sorry we are not interested in name i will write graduation percentage greater than or equal to 75 and h less than or equal to 25 from the table's name is research students okay so when i do this i'll get a relation which has all the people who have graduation percentage greater than 75 and age less than 25 let's see what these values are i will have jo okay his percentage is 75 and his age is 23 i would have this and i would have rob because his percentage is 77 and his age is 22 which is less than 25 so basically what has happened is my relation has been divided into two set one set which satisfy my conditions these two conditions and another set which doesn't satisfy these conditions so i say that select operator is used to do a horizontal partition there would be two parts one part which satisfies the condition the other part which doesn't satisfy the condition and the part which satisfies the condition is returned as result so what is my result my result is these two tuples this is my result okay so if suppose i want to find the person who has graduated from harvard then how will i do it i will do it like this where graduate university is equal to harvard from research students okay so what is the result of this expression the result would be this tuple jo this tuple okay so that was about my select operator it is used to select a set of rows from a table okay now we will look at another operator which is known as the project operator this is also a unary operator the project operator is denoted by the pi symbol this operator is used to create a vertical partition okay by vertical partition i mean if suppose i am interested only in the name 
and in the email. Okay? I'm looking for the name and email of all the persons in this table. So what I will do, I will say project, I would say project name and email from research students. So what I would get is I would get I would get this table that is this row and I would get I would get these two things okay the result of this operation would be a table which has only two attributes the name attribute and the email attribute okay so this is used to do a vertical partition select operation was used to do a horizontal partition we can also combine select and project okay so it means if I need to find students or rather name and email of students who have greater than 75% in graduation. Okay, so what I'll do, I would say project name email and select from the students who have graduation percentage greater than 75 from the table research student okay and what would I get as result I would get name email of so greater than 75 is Tim and Rob okay so my table would have values Tim Rob and their emails. So this is the relation that I get when I execute this relational algebra expression. This is the result. Okay. So this was about project and select. Next, we are going to look at set operations, okay? Set operations, I'll write it down.